purposes. So it ended up being, uh, being I think, something pretty good. The corkscrew, well, out by Stony Brook, and if anybody's out by Stony Brook, everybody's asking about the gas station out by Stony Brook, Stony Brook Golf Drive, which is over by the road that goes to Pinewoods Elementary, and uh, the fire department has a station out there. Uh, this is another project that was approved by the county many years ago. It has approval for a gas station. Uh, I think the neighbors are a little bit upset because it was vacant for many years, and now they want to come in and do the gas station. Um, and we're reviewing it right now. The staff is reviewing it. Uh, I think it's a 7-Eleven, but I'm not sure if it's a big secret. Uh, so we'll be reviewing that, and that will be going to the Planning, Zoning, and Design Board. Uh, but I don't have a date yet, so it'll be upcoming in the next probably couple months. Uh, then there's another one that's the commercial in front of Apollo. Uh, this is project is called Marketplace. It's part of Coconut Point. <coughs> GRI, and again approved by the county years ago. This is about 10 acres in front of Apollo, um, and they are proposing to do some commercial. Um, the big golden arches, in case you're wondering, would be at the corner. Uh, like possible. <laughs> yeah, surprise, you know. Uh, well, first they didn't tell us, and, they, and somebody sent in a question about, and I, so I asked the app, uh, owners, is there, are there golden arches coming to Estero soon? Because I'm hearing these rumors, and they said, yes, maybe. So oh. it's McDonald's on one end. There should be a uh, sit-down restaurant, I think, at the other end, and some mix of commercial uh, uses. And also, I think, a Starbucks with a drive through is planned for the property. So again, that's under the staff review right now. Uh, we know that's going to be complicated when it goes to planning, zoning, and design board for, for different reasons. So we're we're trying to be um, very thorough with our review. Oh, uh, no. Um, okay, so back on Corkscrew Road, I feel like I'm driving all over the place here. Uh, and where we have the Lowe's Plaza, if you recall on the front, there's a Ruby Tuesday building that's been vacant for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, Wawa wants to do a gas station there. They'll knock down the building and, and put a gas station there, which will be right where the traffic light is. So we're doing staff review right now. They need a zoning amendment to do this. So again, that'll be another one that'll be going to the Planning, Zoning, and Design Board once we get finished with the staff review, which will probably be, again, a couple months. Uh, and we're working with them on the architecture, too, because you know the standard Wawa architecture um, is sort of Pennsylvania type. And they know they have to kind of make it look more like a sterile. Uh, if anybody, I'm sure everybody knows Joe Pavich because isn't he our local famous celebrity, right? <laughs> or is he and his dad? We see him on commercials all the time. So he uh, had his zoning approved to do an office building on uh, Corkscrew Road, and this is right by just just past Publix at 41, where you go over the railroad tracks. If you you see in the corner that the beautiful little blue building, that's a house, will become this um, office building. And I don't, he got his zoning approved, but he hasn't come in to do his site plan yet, so we we'll have to ask him what's going on with that. Um, but they did, a, I think, a really nice job with the architecture on that one, too. And that has, we'll have like a little public seating area out front, so I think it's going to be really nice. Uh, people are asking what's going on with Genova and the piece that isn't built yet, and then there's a project called the Colonnade, which is on the north side of Corkscrew Road. Uh, so the colonnade was a, one of the first projects I did in Estero. It's an assisted living or kind of continuing care facility. It's on the north side. Um, they came in and got their zoning approved um, years ago. And then they said, oh, we want to build it by November. But then they never built it. And then we said, oh, we should have asked you what year in November we were going to build it. <laughs> um, they had some issues and then COVID happened. And so they had to re kind of reconfigure the buildings because they had a, you know, kind of a closed design and they have to make it more open air. So they actually had to go back to the drawing board and make a lot of design feature changes because of COVID. So they just got their development order approved recently uh, and we're hoping that they'll start construction soon because I keep getting cards in the mail. Not that I'm old, but I keep getting cards in the mail. Come reserve your spot now. So. <laughs> Uh, and Genova, we got a lot of requests about what's going on with Genova. 
you know, they built their four buildings, they had approval for six, and then they had some issues, and then the, the, the north part of the property sat vacant for a few years, and now uh, Baron Collier has kind of stepped up, and they want to um, uh, do some townhomes and maybe some single, single family at the corner instead of those two buildings. So we've been working with the, the residents and the applicant. Um, it went to planning and zoning board for just an initial review and they said to go back and look, the single family seemed out of place. So they're, they're re-looking at that. But uh, things are finally happening there because if you drive by, you just see a dirt hole and everybody's getting tired of looking at it. So. Uh, Via Coconut, across the street from Genova, on the west side of Via Coconut, was approved by the council um, for three, about 300 apartment units and some commercial uses in a little mixed use area. It's right, the uh, entry lines up with where the park entrance would be if you had a western entrance to this park. Uh, and they are actually uh, agreed to donate at the north end, which is closer to me, if you see a little green area, they're donating um, an acre to the county, or not the county, ooh, sorry, I had a bad flashback. <laughs> <laughs> to the village um, for a park or green space area. So that will be, um, at least that will keep one of the corners from being, you know, people complain buildings are everywhere, but at least we're keeping some green space. So um, that should be, they know they had to work out something with the railroad because they had to Across the, they had to do something with the railroad, but the drainage was taking a little bit longer than they expected. Oh, but the, the cow is going to be sad. This is what the buildings are going to look like. <laughs> and the cow looks very sad because it's going to have to find a new home. So. <laughs> All right. Everybody asked me about North Point. That's the property. It's almost 100 acres. It's north of Williams Road, north of Hertz, uh, east of 41, and west of Via Coconut. And HCA purchased that a few years ago. We thought they were gonna do a hospital. We thought Lee Health was gonna do a hospital. We didn't know if anybody was gonna do a hospital. Um, then we thought HCA was gonna sell it. Then we heard they were gonna sell part of it, but they were gonna keep part, and they were gonna joint venture. And now we haven't heard anything, so we don't know. <laughs> Bottom line is we don't really know what's going on. Um, I think they are still trying to sell it, but we, again, we don't know, but that this is gonna be a big um, interest to the village because it's so large, and we'd like to see a nice mixed use project there. And then Lee Health, well, we have someone from Lee Health, so I don't wanna put you on the spot, but uh, they have the 40 acres at Coconut Road and, and 41, uh, and we're hoping that's gonna be some uh, potential mixed use. We were working with Lee Health to see if they were gonna actually develop or if they're in a joint venture or exactly how that's gonna be structured. And I think they're still looking at all the options. They, they may sell to somebody and we're gonna, we'll work with whoever to make sure we get a project that has um, some mixed use and some, we'd like to see some civic space or some benefits for the public, you know, like the lakes with a restaurant or something, a nice place you can go to, and maybe some green space, like a little central park or something. So we're hoping that both of these projects are gonna turn out really nicely. Uh, there's a project, you might have seen a little thing, it's called Downtown Estero. That was the name that it got when it got rezoned by the county. It's not really downtown, it's uh, north of uh, Broadway, over by the Methodist Church. And it's a weird shaped parcel. It's by the Cypress Bend RV 